Hey guys, it's John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be looking at Construct 3. So what's really awesome about Construct 3 right now is that you have the ability to look at the free version, which comes with th uh, 50 lines of code. Uh, so you normally, it's, I think it's about 20. You log in, you get an account, it jumps to about 50. So you can you could build a decent little video game with about that. It's also going to come with uh, when logged in to the free Construct 3 account, you may use the three uh, up to 50 events in a project. Purchase a plan. It's about 100 bucks a year for the basic plan to unlock the full features of Construct 3. I am looking at this to see if I actually want to. Um, invest more money into this i have the a uh, hundred dollar a year version i decided i want to check out the free version just to see okay uh if any of you guys want to just play around with it what could we actually do with that so i decided hey i have one of my uh original video games called um uh it's just it's just doggy day or something like that basically you choose a dog and then you go out and find all the bones in a level and then you get a reward for how many bones you found or any bonus bones that you found and there's like three or four different levels so i just said hey let's see if we can recreate the entire video game on this so as usually i as usual i start with the basics so we're going to go with through this um uh, this engine it's not construct in a way it is actually construct 2 but it's in your html uh browser i'm currently using chrome so use whatever engine you would like um i i just work a lot better in um chrome so we're going to go over the basics uh on the uh left hand side you have your properties same thing as construct 2 so layout would be like your menu Boom, it changes on the right hand side. You have project, tile maps, or you have layers in case you're doing uh, multiple layers, which we, we may actually end up doing that in the next video. Uh, we have event sheets, and then we have add a condition. Uh, we have all our sprites on our menu. If we click right click, we can insert a new object file chooser, slider, progress bar, XML, uh, local storage, uh, gamepad, keyboard, um, you know, mobile advert, mobile, mobile IAP, public center, Facebook, game center, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. Again, we have our Construct3 start page. Now with the paid versions, you actually have the ability to, uh, I believe, pop it up as a, um, just running off your browser in the background. It has, and have it run like a normal program. I actually haven't done that yet um, since I just bought it today. So this is the free version. We're gonna take a look at that and build a little video game so this one's just basically intro get us started see how everything runs the next uh, video is actually gonna be a full-fledged uh tutorial so again we have our start page we're actually gonna uh, exit off that but real quick uh we have we can do it like a new project so we have our retro style sd 720p portrait 4k landscape we can load or save to the cloud. We can load and save from browser or from file. I'm currently doing it to the browser through, uh, I believe, Megashare. So it's saving everything there since I have 100 gigs of storage from them. Okay, so, so far what we're gonna be doing is building the menu. I have uh, two cloud types using the same sprite, a blue background, a blue square, text, one dog, and one little island um, icon, uh, not icon, but a sprite. The link for everything here will be down below. Event sheet, okay. So again, just like construct two, system, we go add event, system, and then we do a search, we do every, every tick, Okay, since we don't need that, I'm gonna delete that. Sprite, and this is going to be, we go back, we go back. Uh, regular Sprite, I have Sprite, Sprite 2 and Sprite 3. 
so a different type of cloud. So uh, Sprite, we're going to set this as 8 direction, and we're going to move X 140, and we have Sprite 2 set um, to 8 direction uh, vector X 100. So basically everything that I've imported into uh, this level includes uh, wrap. So basically that means whenever something enters the scene, it hits the edge of the scene and then wraps around. And then 8 direction. And then uh, mouse control. So that's everything I've actually put into this. I haven't done anything else. So what we're actually going to be doing right now is go to the event sheet. Add, uh, not an event, I'm going to add a, add a comment. I'm used to seeing the little icons there. And go to uh, next scene, click. All right, actually, I'm going to say next event. So what we're going to do is I actually need to put mouse control. All right, so we're going to actually right click, insert object, mouse control. And since we're going to need this anyway, I'm just going to put keyboard control too. We'll probably put in a gamepad control since I want to actually try that out. So, uh, mouse on uh, object clicked, and we're going to say sprite six, the blue square. And we're going to add a layout and add an event sheet. So, and Layout, go to layout, uh, and okay, there we go. Layout one, done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to layout one. I'm going to actually cancel, drag the dog in the middle of it. We're going to go to the menu, we're going to hit play. We're going to try it again because it's unable to open up. Uh, I have a pop up blocker on, so we're just going to do that. As you can see, the clouds. Are some are going faster than the others, and then they're looping around. We have our dog, his little island, the play button. Boom, we have just hit the next level. Again, if you're from Construct 2, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, again, I'm just building a beginner basis for those who are just hopping into Construct 3 and haven't done Construct 2 so that we all have something to move from and everybody's on the same playing field. All right, so this was the first little video slash demo of uh, Construct 3. The next video is actually going to be a full-fledged, like I said, a full-fledged video just dealing with building a video game. Uh, the multiple levels so we'll be building multiple levels the code for those levels and then seeing how far 50 events can get us so uh, i'll see you guys in the next video remember hit the like uh and subscribe comment down below if you'd like to see more on construct 3 or if you want me to check out some other game engines i'm actually finishing up a godot uh game engine tutorial dealing with the same things so we all have a same beginning uh, starting basis. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.